Hey guys, so firstly, sorry if I make anyone incredibly hungry with my pancake shirt. It looks so real. I'm surprised I haven't been licked by a stranger in the street yet. Which links to my exciting news. I have been through a taste bud transformation recently. Remember this? Flashback music. <laughs> well, watch this, mate. Don't Photoshop this. Mmm. I like bananas now. I don't know what happened, but I woke up one day and thought, I'm, I'm gonna try a banana again, and I like it. My mouth has evolved to like bananas. It's a miracle. Well, not for you, Barry. I've eaten about three bunches of them this week just to try and claim back all the bananas that I've missed out on in my life. But I thought there must be some science behind this. Taste buds regenerate, like the doctor, every 10 days. As people become adults, they may start to like things that they previously hated as taste buds and experiences with food mature. Thanks, science Phil. You're welcome, Phil. So I thought I could test this theory, so I got Dan to go out and buy some things that I definitely didn't like a few months ago to see if I like them now. Okay, who's ready for a disgusting food haul? Not me. I have got quite the selection for you today, Philly. Are you not coming on camera? No, because I am in my pajamas. Aspirational. All right, what's up first? Soda water. Oh, I hate sparkling water. It tastes disgusting. Yeah, that fizz. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> no, no, still don't uh, like it. Oh. Describe the taste, Phil. Oh, it tastes like licking a penny. It's all metally and disgusting. You say that as if you're someone that has much experience licking pennies. As a child, I did savor some pennies that, that in my time. A lot. <laughs> Number one was a fail. I still don't like it. Okay, we're working up slowly. All right. The next one is tomato juice. Oh, I hate this. I know I'm gonna hate this I'd still. I'd probably projectile vomit if I drank that. Oh. I can't do tomatoes. It's like liquid ketchup, and I don't even like ketchup that much. Who doesn't like ketchup? I'm gonna have a big swig, as they say. Where do they say that? On boats. I have a big swig, mate, of my grog. Uh, <laughs> what the hell was I don't that? Know what oh that my was. god. Just, All right, just I'm drink doing the it. Juice. I'm, I'm drinking the juice. That wasn't a big uh, swig. Was it was big enough. Big swig, right now, right oh. now. Big swig. Oh, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. That, ladies and gentlemen, was <laughs> peer pressure. <laughs> Describe to everybody the delicious sensation of tomato oh, juice. Oh, it's horrible. That's another thumbs down. <laughs> so this isn't really boding well for no. the next round. No, um, I'm so feeling quite sick I'm already. sorry in advance. Your final test, Phil. The iconic <laughs> Phil Lester taste bud challenge. I know what's coming. <laughs> no! Dun, 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 your arch nemesis. This is like the Tokyo to my Godzilla. It is, I just, what I the, hate what cheese. What was that? Well, Godzilla this, this destroys... Is, okay. Tokyo. Right. What is it about cheese that you don't like? Ever since I was born, the smell of it, the taste of it, the look of it. The look of it. Oh, I can smell it from here. It's... Oh, you can smell it from here. No <laughs> It's on the board right in front. Okay. First, we're going to start with something classic. The cheddar. Oh, I don't want to do this. Why am I making this video? Stick it in your mouth. I'm feeling so much more scared of this than any of the other things I've ever done on my channel. <laughs> Honestly. This, this is the real test. Electrocution. I would rather take that in a second over this. Tell you what you should call this video. What? The cheese challenge. I'm not calling it the cheese challenge. <laughs> no, you have to. I can't. No, come on. Okay, right. It's trash. And everyone on the internet knows it, but you can blame me. Fine. Okay, you can't not call the video the cheese challenge. Alright, this is the cheese challenge. It's a spiritual successor to the not milk challenge. Like okay. this video because I'm eating <laughs> cheese. Oh no, that's just guilt likes. I'm not putting a lot in my mouth. Just a, yeah, well go on, like a little bag. Just, come on. Come on, it's cheddar. <laughs> I'm scared. It's cheddar, mate. <laughs> oh. Um, How can anyone I don't have such know. a strong reaction to cheddar cheese? I just don't like it. Describe your your, your emotions. Well. <laughs> I want to cry. I just it's to, to me. I don't know why it just tastes disgusting. Right. So this next one, maybe you'll have a bit of affinity with it because it's actually named after you. Red Leicester. Oh no. Right, my mum said that I could go swimming if I ate some Red Leicester when I was a child, and it was the worst day of my life. The worst day of your life was when your mum made you eat some cheese. Yeah. Wow, Phil. Alright, okay, here we go. Go on. It's so it's, yellow. It's your family, take a bite. <laughs> well, you're making it so much better. Right. Go on. Ah. Bigger than last time. Ah. Go, go. it's nice. I love Red Leicester. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Do you need a bucket or something? I think I need a bucket. <laughs> Oh, I can't handle this. Oh, right, I've swallowed it. I've swallowed it. It's like a Bush Tucker trial. Well done. Got well it done. down. I mean, you're winning nothing no. other than 
I was going to say people on the internet it's respect, but yeah. let's be honest, no one's, no one's respecting okay. me for this. I don't think I can handle anymore. Phil, you can't stop now. You're so brave. Oh, right. This is the cheese that most cheese eaters don't like. Blue cheese. Oh, it's got mold in it. Why would anyone eat something with mold <laughs> in it? It's got some literal mold in it. It's uh, delicious rock for. Right. Go on, Phil. I, Have a cheeky nib. Do people eat, do you eat the mold as well? Yes, you're supposed to eat. <laughs> you don't pick it out. I'm shaking. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> oh, go. Oh. That is disgusting. How do people eat that? <laughs> do you not think it has a delicious oh, well, well. nuance to taste? I want to drink something with just tomato juice on the table. Oh, go, go, go <laughs> Phil, wash your mouth out. Go on, make... <laughs> That's like heaven compared to what just went in my mouth. You'll appreciate this one. As a little throwback to our last taste test, yeah. I'm carrying a theme forward with some goat cheese. No. Oh, yeah. It's going to taste like goat. The goat milk tastes like goat. This is going to be even more goaty, isn't it? Right, here we go. Be one with the goat. This is one small step you for can Phil. Do it you're brave. One giant cheese for mankind. It's <laughs> 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 horrible. Oh, instant goat! <laughs> it tastes like a goat! Ah, ah, it tastes like a goat has why, pooed in my mouth! Why did you do this? <laughs> well, oh my god, it's all over your tongue! <laughs> sweet, 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 sweet release. Carbonated water, <laughs> get it in your mm. mouth. Mm. So, uh, Phil, yeah? in conclusion, have your taste buds evolved to like sparkling water, no, to juice no, juice. no, they haven't evolved to like anything but bananas. Explain that science, Phil. I don't know. Thanks for doing that with me. No worries, always fun. Whenever you want me to just watch you, like, you know, <laughs> suffer. Yeah, you know, wretch at something goat related, <laughs> I'll be here. Thanks, Dan. See you later, guys. Today's Draw Phil Naked is. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I'm going to go wash my mouth out with soap to get rid of the cheese taste. I hope you're having a good week, and I will see you, yeah, you, very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>